So, <laughs> I have a sky observation for you guys today. <laughs> what is that? I can't even tell you guys what I'm staring at. Like, <laughs> oh, my brakes. Getting them fixed today, yay. So, <laughs> I was like, you guys just stare at it. So I was like, you know, trying to look at signs and symbols of this morning. And there was a car that was in front of me. And the car was, uh, it was a Genesis 3.8. And so I was uh, looking up the scripture of Genesis and it talked about how the Lord walked, walketh in the garden. And so a lot of times I always say, well, if the Lord was Jesus, you know, how the heck did he become like in the beginning and then in the New Testament? So I just kind of look at how, in essence, what I was saying in the other video, how the future was the past. Like there is no timeline of past, present, future. It, it's all conglomerated. Like there's people who were ascended beings or yada, yada, yada they knew how to cross timelines. They knew how to, to go in other times of eras and things like that. So I'm kind of putting the pieces together of how like, you know, names change between different years and eras. And it just, we all left out in, in a certain essence of information because it just doesn't make sense in 3D, you know, but if you have a translucent creator who can do whatever he wants to do, whenever he wants to do it, then, then it is what it is. I think we have to start believing in those things that are impossible. And if there's no way to prove it or to have a science to it, then we are co-creators and manifestors. So why can't we request the, you know what I mean? Request the possibilities and let those possibilities speak for itself, you know? Uh, I'm starting to approach this week in a different manner. Instead of blaming everything and being so frustrated about so much because we're left out in the dark and left in the code, um, I think it's a blessing sometimes to not know too much. You know, um, it's gratifying to just appreciate your little bubble that you have, you know. So I was talking to my friend, an old romantic interest yesterday. And what was fascinating was um, it was an accidental butt dial. <laughs> hey. But um, what was cool about it was he was telling me that sometimes in life you have to just take care of the things that are this distance. Like, that that's, the, that's, that's all you can really take care of is everything that is... Ooh, I don't want my hands to touch. <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. Everything from arm distance length. That's all that you can take care of. That's all that you can manage. And all that other stuff that we've been trying so hard to resolve and help people understand, it just doesn't make any absolutely no sense to, you know, dilute so much energy. And consequently, you dilute yourself in the process. So, um... There's a whole lot of things in the sky over here in, in Los Angeles. Can I quickly do this? <clears throat> I 
than a red light. My light's about to turn green. But I just look how equally shaped. <laughs> you ain't cloaked no more. Um, I I just think it's just. Oh, there's Russell. Russell rides in the car with me. That's my sugar bear. <laughs> All right, you guys, you have a good Monday. I'm sure I'll have another video later today. Um, I'm exhausted and tired. You can probably hear by my voice. I'm just, I'm pooped. I'm pooped. My energy is just... Uh, I had a dance show on Saturday. And... Uh, it was the f harvest full moon on Saturday as well. And I've learned, I've learned that people know how to use me. It's okay. I just kind of roll with it. Because at this point, I really don't know how the effects are affecting other people. But I know that some people are very intelligent and they're spellcasters. You know, they work with the moon energy and stuff like that. And instead of just being direct about it, you know, a lot of people are secretive. And I know a lot of these groups, especially on like social media, they'll say like, we're doing group meditations and blah, blah, blah. But their intentions are not exactly what they're telling you. So I'm just, you know, rolling with it. I'm tired of trying to like dissect you know what's good and bad and indifferent it's like look i know what you're up to you're up to something <laughs> so i just realized that you know some people used my energy saturday for whatever benefit it is and i'm exhausted from it i'm pooped and i'm tired but i was performing to a queen song uh the show must go on so there's some relevance and connection to the whole thing I also, um, it was a dark Disney theme. I have a hiccup. And the dark Disney theme, uh, I played Cruella de Vil. <laughs> but what's fascinating was I didn't realize that Cruella was two sides. She was light and dark. You know, because, you know, she had the white hair and the black hair. So um, I was just kind of like, sitting in my thoughts yesterday night like oh shoot like it was the harvest moon and here I am playing like you know Gemini and Will Smith came out that Gemini man movie so it's just like fascinating how unintentional like a lot of us are and people are intentional sometimes and it's just like a very interesting harmony you know the harmony is just very interesting so all right I'm gonna go now I had to get ready for work. I've been driving for a while, but I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty, bye.